ようこそズブリズへ Everyone up Everyone in Time for the fun to begin Come along with us to Zubli Zoo Zubli Zoo Magic and wonder are waiting for you Yo, sh- So let's go, we'll get right back into Xenoblade 2, where we left off, Chapter 8. Let's go to the World Tree. Let's do this. <laughs> Kuri chan, great ape Craig. Konnichiwa. See you at the beginning of the stream. Okay, so first word we see today, at least first kanji. Tanka. It's to be like carbonized. Ka means change. And then this kanji you see for things like charcoal. So tanka to become charcoal, more or less. So this place around here is kind of、uh, carbonized. Very different from the Zubli Zoo world that you all just saw. Tanka s t e r u So, this must be the after effect of the battle between the two Aegis, the two Holy Grail, Ten no Seihai, and then Tatakai, battle, and then Ato, the, the scars of their battle. So, what is this place? Okay, so this is the womb. The womb of the Titan that was this place. So most people, even in the ancient kingdom of Ira, did not know of this place. Um, by the way, real quick, anyone just joining?、Uh, I did want to check one thing. Let's go back to our browser cam. So, we... let's see.、Uh, we have this new bank. Currently, Unboxes is leading with Griffin coins because we now have bounty hunters. We have one new bounty today that I wanted to mention. So, check it out. One new bounty marked in yellow. Why? Why don't we have this word? That is why it's a bounty. 28 million goody on the line. Doshite, why? So if you see doshite, why in the game, or any of these other words from past days, we can、uh, find these words, add them to our power level, and you can win that bounty. Open up an account. The cryptocurrency of the world of Japanese Quest. You never know, someday the value may rise. Burb, konnichiwa. By the way, as always, the focus today, let's make it. Last week we learned one word. That's pathetic. Let's、uh, learn more than one word today. Let's find some words. Does not have to be words on our bounty list at all. Any word we haven't learned already is fair game. Let's make this power level go up today to at least, let's try at least 1,020. Sen hyaku niju. At least. Of course, the goal. Is higher than that, over 9,000. Let's go. So they had this kind of place on this Titan. Okay, so this is the womb of the Arusu, of the Titan. By the way, this is a pretty rare word. I would not worry about it too much. It's Hara with a, a La here. What is that? So it's like a, we got some kind of egg. By the way, the word egg, tamago, we need that word for our bounty list, but to unlock it, we need to find it in the game. Someone in chat has to say the word or do our new emote, the power up emote. Let me spam that emote one second to remind us we must power up, we must find new words today. Let's go. Blade. 
アルスみたいな姿しても。Okay, but it looks like a Titan. アルスアルスへの変態の過程で朽ちた。Alright, so what he's saying is So A shows the direction. So アルスへの変態。So, hentai means to transform. So, it's transforming into a titan from a blade. And so, it decayed in that process, I guess. This is get, again getting to blade, titan science, and xenoblade stuff. Let's not worry about it too much. Okay. And then within that body, titans create core crystals. You've probably seen them at least once. So, Ichi means one, of course. Ichido, once, one time.、Um, so, Ichido Gurai. So, at least once. Mita koto ga aru. You've probably seen it at least once, right? Uh, by the way, we just mentioned this new emote that we got for learning new words. I just submitted an emote to Twitch. It looks more or less like this Triforce drawn with yellow, badly drawn.、Uh, because I draw this when we find a sentence in game, it's kind of a visual cue for people to know when we're looking at a sentence in detail. And we're adding that sentence to our sentence chronicle.、Uh, the new emote has been submitted. It looks kind of like this. And so now, not just me, but anyone in chat will be able to do the Triforce and、uh, suggest sentences to learn. It has not been approved yet because they don't know. For all they know, it might be, I don't know, pornographic or something. But、uh, it's not. It's a Triforce. They will accept it probably by next time. Usually takes a few days. And we got that because we had 25 subscribers, and finally in March, they allowed us to have three. Affiliates can have three now if you have 25 subscribers. I think retroactively. So people that had 25 in the past, maybe. I don't really know. So even Blades, that life is not eternal. So, once the fire of that life goes away, Inochi, life, he, fire. So, once that fire goes out, Tsukiru, to go out, Tsukiru Toki, the time it goes out,、uh, it will again go back to the Titan from which it was born. Kaeru. Aruse to Kaeta Bredo. Yagate. Okay, this is getting weird, so let's just kind of diagram it. So you've got a blade. This is getting into kind of Xenoblade science. You've got a blade. Let's say, what is this? I don't know. Kind of Minato type blade. I don't know. So we have a blade. And then eventually, right, that blade comes from a crystal. So you've got this crystal. Eventually, that blade also becomes a titan, a great titan. Is this a titan? I don't know what's going on, honestly. So, that's a titan. And then that titan, though, can die as well back into the cloud sea, I think. And then maybe to a crystal again. I don't really know. Something like this. It's the circle of life for blades, titans. Is that true? What you're saying? So we'll become like this someday too? Hmm. So yeah, this is the truth of this world. So, if you become a Titan, you will forget the memories, the memories you had when you were a blade. Again, this is a common theme in this game. Kyoku, memory. Kyoku wa nakunaru. 
to go away. So they'll lose their memory. The same as when they go back to their core. Okay, so by going back to this titan here, if this titan dies, Arusuga Shinda, the titan dies, Koto de, so if this thing happens, Shinda Koto de, Unmeo Tomonishita, they will have the same fate, they will also die. Here's the word for fate, Ume, and then Tomonisuru, the same fate. Ah, great to be pro, Konbanwa. Whoa! We got a dragon! Just in time for this scene ending. So yeah. Let's bring the dragon hype in the chat. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. The dragons are now flying over this dead titan here. What? Great to be pros. Also summon a dragon. More dragon hype. The worst man. By the way, we have a new... The power up emote. We can use that as well. The goal today is to find some more words to power up some more. And there's a new emote coming probably next week. Uh, they also can help us unlock sentences. So let's power up. Let's go. The dragons are out. Tonight. Okay. I hope I didn't skip a scene, because I was kind of so pumped up from the dragons that I was not totally looking at the scenes, but... Hmm. This is probably right. I think? Yeah, that must be right. Because they're talking about, again, this cycle of, uh... Blades turning into... Titans and everything else. Uh, let's see... Pum for style says, just checking by, but you're doing a great job. Keep at it. I do wonder how old you are right now. Uh, ni hyakusai des. And, uh, let's see. Great at Greg says, I resub as well. Never announces mine for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't, but you do have the dragon. So clearly, yeah, it doesn't give me the update either. It's odd. All right. Let's continue. You do have the dragon powers though, great up Greg. So no longer, you're not only an ape, you also have dragon powers. So you have to imagine a powerful ape. Something perhaps beyond a silverback. So then that titan and then gives back many lives. And then from that titan, new cores are born for these new blades. What's the core? You see one right here in this little titan here. Essentially, everyone in the game has crystals in their body. People in chat may have as well. Certainly the dragons might. Dragons like crystals. Okay, kind of interesting phrase here. Um, blade. So we're talking about blades. Like, she's a blade, for example. Um, blade to you. So to, to you here means um, like kind of what it means to be a blade. Inochi no junkan, the circle of life or the cycle of life. Inochi, life, junkan, cycle. These are some good words. We could think about adding some of these. Inochi, I'm sure we have. This one, probably not, but it's a useful word. A cycle, junkan. So the cycle of what it means to be a blade. Turning into a titan, turning into a crystal. Sounds like not a bad life. I wouldn't mind if when I turn into dirt, instead of turning into dirt, I turn into a crystal. That sounds better. Turning into a titan sounds better as well. Okay, so this is the truth decided by God. Kotowari da. 
そして、皇国イラの信仰の対象。And this is the, the target of their faith in ancient Ida, where we are right now. 皇国イラは、アルスの偉大さを恐れ、うやむ。OK、so they were, yeah, they would, they were in awe of the Titan, its majesty. そこから新たに生まれ出るブレイドと、人間との共存を目指したく。And they... What they were aiming for, Mezasu, to aim for, Mezashta Kuni, so the country, the country, Kuni, country, aiming for living together with humans. Bledo to, to meaning and, Bledo to, ningen, humans. So coexistence is what they aimed for, but we're probably going to get something like a ga, because ga, but something. Bad happened. Ga meaning but. Nidatta. Daga. I was right. I called it. I was a little bit off because he said Daga, not just Ga. He said Daga, but same meaning.、Um, so, but humans did not want that. Ningen wa sore o nozoba na katta. So, to hope for, to want. Humans did not want that. Humans were always messing things up. Ningen was sorry, or no zomanakata. Metsto no tataka in his shoe shifuga utare. So, in that battle, they kind of put an exclamation point on it. Omaiga adder to Tomoni ira o sata sugua. So, right after you left with Adder. Atono kotoda. Uncle Bill, Konnichiwa. I see you saw our,、uh, most likely saw our ping in the Discord. Thanks again for suggesting that. It seems to work. Yatta. Konnichiwa. Good to see you, Bill. So that person, they're talking about this Pope guy, this kind of evil. Shady religious character in this game. Marube ni is his name. Nani o shita no? Nani o shita. So, what did he do? Nani, what? Shita, did do. So, what did he do? Shin ni kono kuni o metsubo sase ta no wa. Ten no se hai de wa. So, the, the one who truly destroyed this country was not the Aegis, was not the Holy Grail. Ten no se hai. Literally Holy Grail, but they translated it to Aegis in the English game. So it was the holy city that destroyed this place. Big reveal, apparently. I mean, you can always tell he's shady because he looks like a villain for an RPG, JRPG. Flashback time. Julie j u m p i n in. About 500 years ago, probably a bit after. Yeah. So he becomes a crystal. He probably doesn't become a crystal. So this is Shin with his old、um, his driver. So something here happened that made him. Want to kill all humanity, destroy the world, and kill God. Let's find out what exactly happened here. Load、eh. So look for them. They must still be lurking somewhere nearby. Laura. Laura. It's okay. 
So even if I die, you'll just go back to sleep. That's it. So she knew to die. Shindemo. So even if I die, you'll once again go back to sleep. Yeah, good word, verb. Futabi. Yeah, popped up earlier, this sentence too. Yeah, it's one of these words that's not really glamorous, but you do see it a lot. Hmm. Let's add it to our power level. I'm pretty sure we don't have it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? It's one of those words that I don't really feel like adding just because it feels like a word that, I don't know, it's just such a function word that it doesn't really cry out to me. Let's add it to our power level. Um, why did I do a read? It's a B. Um, but, like you said, we've been seeing it a lot in the game. N3 word, common word, that's right up our alley. Um, notice there's another form that can be written interesting as, so nido normally is two times. I think we saw that earlier too, or something similar. Um, but that also can be pronounced futatabi. You don't really see that, by the way. It's an old form, I would think. Um, but here we go. So again, once more, a second time, common word. Let's add it. Let's make our power level go up today. Yosh. And I won't even check because I, I buy it. Yeah, you checked, we, we don't, and I believe you. Because I really don't think we added that. I, I, my instinct would be not to add it. Just because, I don't know, I find that word slightly boring, but doesn't mean it's not useful. And maybe someone out there loves that word. It does have a good sound to it. Ah, Scarbrutal! Thanks for this service, $20. Sugoi. What did the message there say? I couldn't really see the katakana that well because it's kind of small. But, uh, Arigato. Niju doru. Suge. Hontoni. Arigato. And yeah, I will do my best to uh, make this service the best it can be. I always kind of felt that unleashing a Japanese teacher in the wild in some kind of native media could be a cool thing for people to, you know, experience the language and just kind of learn in a true language context. And uh, it's an experiment. Um, I'm glad some people like it. Uh, as a teacher, I can tell you I like it. And I kind of enjoy it more than a standard Japanese format because I feel like the freedom and the fun and just the, the weird meetings and moments is unique. So anyway, thanks again. Hontoni arigato. Verb has also something to drink. Swift man. Tier one sub. Gifted from Scarborough Tall to Verb. Swift man. Let's uh, bring out the, the dragon. Bring out the dragon hype. Sugoi. Scarborough Tall. Arigato gozaimasu. It's time to power up. You can bring out that power up emote. Let's do this. See, now, I wasn't so hyped about this word, but now with all of that that's happening in the corner there, now I'm hyped about this word. Futatabi. That's a good word. Let's go. <laughs> and by the way, this is an emotional moment, so let's, uh, let's sink in here. This is, this is for real. Okay, so she's, she's dying here. And she's saying that as time passes, mata betsu no dareka. So dareka, someone. So betsu, different. So some other person will meet you or, you know, touch you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't raise the power level yet. You're right. I'll, I'll raise it later. Once we get another word, let's, let's save it. We can like pretend our power level is lower. You know how they do that in Dragon Ball sometimes. But then they're like, ah, and they like freak out and then their power level goes way high. That's, you can think of it that way if you need a, a mechanism for why it's like that. Um, mostly it's just I want to focus on this scene a little bit and then we can get another word later. Uh, okay, I think she has a point here. She's talking about humans. So this wa ne kind of just means, so as for humans, and now talking about the human condition. 
誰かに、so by someone、忘れられる。So being forgotten by someone is much worse than what you're going to do. Just go back to sleep and be back in a crystal and meet someone again and you forget. And you know, she kind of has a point. So, because of that, we try to leave behind our existence. We struggle to live. So, to leave behind some of our existence. So, as humans struggle to not be forgotten. So the next time you wake up, you will have forgotten me. Again, watashi no koto, me, things about me, and then wasurere, to forget. And then this is the te form, because will have forgotten. You will have forgotten me. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> They've been together, I think, at least, what, at least 10 or 20 years at this point. <laughs> so being forgotten you, for, being forgotten by you, or having our connection disappear is very sabishi, very lonely. Some important words here, heavy hitting words. Kizuna, connection. So their connection together will disappear, much like I just undid it there. Kiyeru, to disappear. Kizuna ga, kiyeru. You had the no to make that a noun. So the fact of our connection disappearing, sabishi yo. Let's look up that word. So lonely is normally how it's translated, but I want to look it up just because let's see if there's more nuances that we might bring out more flavor in that word. Sa bi shi. This word we have learned, I believe. If we haven't, I've done something wrong this whole time. Uh, we may have a different kanji for it. Sometimes you see this kanji for it. Um, Lonely, lonesome, solitary, desolate. Yeah, lonely. I think that probably works best for this context. So you can hear the emotion in that word. That's one good thing about this format. You learn that word in a textbook, you don't hear that voice acting. I will not forget. There's no way I will forget. So I will not forget you. I know. But if that time comes and it's dumb, it's no good. <laughs> and this might be her final sentence. <laughs> so sorry for troubling you. And I do want to say one thing. If I recall correctly, there may be a bounty word, one of our target words, in this sentence, which just happens to be maybe her last line of her life. 
If anyone writes one of those words, I believe that's the word. Is that right, Burb? If it is, since you are also our banker, you can give yourself that bounty. <laughs> yeah, Komaru, I believe it is. Let's go to our uh, browser cam and check that out. Let's see our bank and see if it gets updated. Um, so right now we see our bank, Unboxious, has 45 million. Um, Burb, though, just got a new bounty. So maybe I'll write that on there and see if I'm right. So ko, ko ma -ru. ko ma -ru. can be kanji too. Um, let's just do it in hiragana. I don't do it like automatically. Ko ma -ru. Okay. Let's see, does it go up? Yep, went up to 32. So burb is now in second. Nice. There we go. Yatta komaru. It's good to learn that word in such a kind of emotionally charged scene, too. Good time to find that word. Uh, Greg says, dang, I was so looking for something. Ah, uh, yeah, you were so close. We'll have to consider uh, maybe someday, um, since they were so close, maybe like doing some kind of multiple or split bounties or something. But yeah, very close, Greg. Um, but all the other ones are still fair game. Uh, let's see, most wanted. So we have this new one today could be very easy to find. Doshite, why? That must be somewhere, right? Uh, this one, Taihen, probably easy to find. Yukuri, possibly. So all of these are still fair game. Have we seen any of these today? Komaru, we saw that now. So now we can take that out. The uh, We can do a strike through for the bounty. We can move that down to the completed bounties. I think the bounty is placed here. Yep. So this is the list of all the bounties we've already collected. People can look at the past bounties, also in order. And then the current bounties we can see here. Cool. So all this stuff is still fair game, but let's keep playing the game so we can find more possibly. But remember, any words are fair game if we find a word. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many that probably will show up. Sweet, let's keep going. But remember, it's very emotional right now. There is a way. Just one. Some one way to make you live along with me. Interesting. What is he talking about? So, ikiru, to live. Hoho, very useful word, means way or method. So there is a method for you to live. Kimi to ore, so both of us, together. Really? What is that? Oh. Nani? So the other emote I'm thinking of, if we get a, another additional emote, I'm thinking like an emote that just says like, Something like this. There's like maybe like nani? In some kind of bold like hiragana for moments like this that are like what WTF? Kind of a Japanese version of WTF, some kind of nani emote I feel like could be good. You know, on other channels too, since you can use them all over Twitch. What do you guys think about other emote possibilities? Why not the kanji? Yeah, kanji's a possibility. I just thought don't know if the kanji would fit quite as well. Maybe the kanji. It's something to think about. I thought maybe the hiragana might be a bit more readable and maybe more readable by people. Yeah, stylized kanji? Yeah, okay, we could think about that then. Um, I'm not sure which would be the most readable and which would quite be the best, but yeah, it's something to think about. Nani? Um... Commodore Bucket, yeah, good suggestion. So you're thinking like stylized Nani Kanji could work? Because I guess, yeah, I mean, either way, most people couldn't read it if they can't read Kanji or Kana. But people that were like in the know could read it. I was thinking Romaji too, but probably not Romaji. There's all, a lot of those already. Yeah, maybe a Kanji one with maybe an exclamation point possibly or something.
Whoa. Did I miss something? Right. Okay, I think I missed it. Did he stick his hand into her heart? I think that's what he did. To maybe make her live by like grabbing her heart and putting it in his chest, I think. I think he he I think he did he did like a temple of doom on her. He grabbed her heart, putting put it in his chest. So now she's alive in him. So now he's like half human or something. I believe I missed that. I think he did stick hand and chest thing to make her survive. But anyway, these guys are in trouble. If you ever see Shin in a dark alley with his eyes like that, get out of there. Nigero. I ate her? Okay, so something different with the heart than I imagined. Forgot to up the power level again? I will do it. I gotta keep the flow of this, uh, this scene going though. But yeah, I will do it. Oh yeah, but you're right, even the word that we added for that word. Um, we'll, we'll do it after the scene. <laughs> So after we left, that happened? Yeah, why don't we add that word now, though? Because uh, we might want to find other words and we don't want to miss things. So the word was... The finding... The, the parting word was komaru. Very emotional time. Not komoru. Komoru means to shut yourself in, like, for example, hikikomori means someone who never leaves the house. Komoru, that's different. We're doing komaru. That's a typo. Komaru. To be troubled, to be worried, to be bothered. So she was saying, sorry for troubling you. N5 word, common word. That's why we're learning it. That's why there's a bounty on it. Because it's common and we needed it. We're at 1117. Let's make that power level go up. Yatta. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1107. Uh, awaken infinity hello it's always uh good to say hello to infinity so hello good to see you uh let's yeah i want i'm trying to say something clever about infinity but i'm i'm failing uh del hueso just found out about this stream interesting concept yeah anyone who's just here the first time let me break down the simplest things that we do here uh our power level goes up as we learn words in the game. We find words in the game. The words from past games are down here. I am a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira. Uh, people here can chat and suggest words and sentences for us to learn and focus on. Down here is a cat who is the first party member on this journey. Anyone who follows joins our party as well. It's like a role-playing game within a role-playing game with also a language game. So yeah, very simple. Let's continue the game. There's a bit more to it, but let's keep it there for now. <laughs> Uncle Bill has hosted us with one viewer, Hosto. Arigato. Thank you very much for the host, Uncle Bill. And yeah, I did have an Uncle Bill. I went, yeah. In fact, my Uncle Bill recently passed away. Very sad. So anyway, Uncle Bill, I'm glad that you're doing well. <laughs> um, somewhere. Alright, so the leftovers of Ira tried to wipe out that existence. So that was what was happening in that flashback. So yeah, Uncle Bill, 
good to see you. Sorry, that's kind of odd comment, but it came to mind because last time I think I said something about having an Uncle Bill, but for some reason I was not thinking so clearly at the time. But already you weren't there. So her leaving kind of sucked because if she was there, she could have possibly saved lives, but she's just sleeping, doing nothing for 500 years. And the rest of us were just brutally scattered, defeated. <laughs> so when you weren't there... People did the same thing, right? Uh, Del Huso says, I'm late to the class, so I don't understand anything of what's happening. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, it is hard to access some of the information. The hope is, um, I mean, let's be honest, even the first stream we ever did, it's going to be a challenge because we were doing some of the same content. The hope is that, at the very least, even if someone's first here the first time and doesn't know one word of Japanese, the hope is that maybe your power level can go up by even just one. Because even just one, think about it. The guy in Dragon Ball at the beginning, farmer, power level of five. That means he knows five words, right? Learn one word, your power level goes up by 20%. Your productivity in the language goes up geometrically. So even if you find one word, even just down here, maybe. Hito, person, for example, or kuchi, mouth. The hope is that there might be something, even for someone just here the first time, something that they can learn, possibly. So the hope is to go through the story and uh, show how the sentences fit together. And uh, it will be challenging, but that's kind of the fun of it. We can level up in the game, but level up in real life as well, even if it's slowly but surely. In any case, welcome. Um, Let's go. So yeah, they were scared of us and humans wanted to destroy us. That's basically what he's talking about. So he attacked you. So he wants to save the world? No, it's different. What he really wants? So he's saying here, Meizasu, to aim for, then Honto, true. It's the true reason that they're trying to get to Rakuen, trying to get to paradise. Um, the true reason is whatever the next thing is going to be. Again, he's kind of making it more clear for us. Yatsu, meaning him, Mokuteki his goal. So Yatsu no Mokuteki wa. So his goal is... Ah. He wants to gain the powers of a god. Kami means god. Uh, let's make it even shinier because it's the kanji for god here after all. Kami. Kami no Chikara. So Chikara means power. Kami means God. Put it together. Kami no chikara. The power of a God. So that's his true goal. Ah, omniscient. Konnichiwa. Ha <laughs> uh, yeah. I hear you, omniscient. Wasn't a commercial, at least not intentional. It was more of a I don't know, something that someone wrote last time that just struck me as funny. But at the same time, yes, it was a commercial for Kit Kat. If you saw the tweet, you'll know what I'm talking about. We did a tweet today of a, an endless loop of Kit Kats because last time we had a strange comment that someone in chat pointed out. We have a chronicle of this journey, all the words that's one chronicle of this journey. Another is sentences. So we have sentences. Let's find a sentence today, by the way. We haven't found one yet. 
But uh, this is the first English sentence we ever had. But for some reason, someone in chat wrote this. I don't remember who wrote it. But uh, apparently I said this last time, last week. Let's think about a Kit Kat. Let's get serious here. I started talking about Kit Kat. I don't even remember the context exactly, but I don't know. It struck me as funny that someone actually wrote that in chat. So this, this was the tweet today. <laughs> Omniscient says, uh, really? Ah, yeah, the Twitch streams ads are embedded. Really? Ah, right. Yeah, I read your thing kind of quick, Omniscient. I was thinking you're talking about my tweet, but I'm getting. Twitch and t Twitter mixed up. Uh, yeah, okay. So ads are everywhere. Yeah, there's too many ads on this site now. It's pretty clear. But I guess it needs to find a way that it can exist. And if that's what it takes, I suppose. Whoa, what's he freaking out about? Um, okay, so his goal is to wipe out all blades and titans and to gain the power of God. So that's why he's protecting Lexu and the Aegis. But even so... But that's the same as what you guys are doing. So that was our comrade, Vandom, who was killed earlier by Shin. And our other comrade, I forget her name. Um, Kasumi, I think. I think Hayes, it means. And that what's actually her name in English, I think, was Hayes. Okay, so let's review. Um, Shin wants to just... This is Shin. Okay. Excuse the Romaji, but I want everyone, want everyone to be able to read this and understand exactly what he wants. Okay. There's three things he wants to destroy. Ichi. Ningen. Humans. Ni. Sekai. The world. So he wants to destroy the world and humans, and but don't worry, it's, there's one more. San. Kami. So his goal is to destroy humans, the world, and God. Very ambitious individual here. That is Shin. And he used to be a pacifist. So quite an interesting path. <laughs> How do you kill God? That is the question. He's going to find out. That's right. So he said, yeah, that's right. I want to kill all those three things. Is that really true? Nani. Nani. Ooh, yeah. We just saw the Nani that could be our uh, new emote. We're discussing possibly having the kanji for Nani being an emote. I don't think that's your true goal. Okay, this is kind of a nice sentence. And yeah, we see, again, the nani there. Why don't we add this sentence? Because we have not added one yet. And this one's quite juicy. We can get some interesting, some nice nutrients from this sentence. So when we drew this uh, symbol here, the Triforce, we learned this playing uh, Zelda. If, any, if anyone in chat can write this sentence, we can absorb his powers, add it to our collective subconscious. In other words, you can unlock this sentence in your mind, in your subconscious. You might not know it, but someday the sentence might reach out and give you, I don't know, some kind of power up when you might need it. Uh, yeah, we don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> um, del Hueso. So, ore ni wa. So, as for me, 
、俺には、それが、そ、so、that、それがあんたの、so、that is not your true goal. The key noun being this noun string here. 本当の目的。true goal. true goal. 本当の目的。And then, とは思えない。So I do not think that is your true goal. Looks like Burb wrote it on Bakshis. Oh, hello, on Bakshis. You have it as well.、Um, let's see. What do you mean? So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think that looks right from everyone. So, let's get the unlock sound. And again. And one more time, because I think three people wrote it. This will be the last time. This counts for everyone else who writes it. Yatta. That is the sound of unlocking that sentence in your mind. Nicely done. Let's copy and paste that and add it to our power level. To our sentence chronicle, rather. I think it looks right. And yeah, Burb, good comment. Like, yeah, I can't. I don't. Yeah, I can't. Um. Oh, m o y n i g h t Right. I can't think that's your real goal. Yeah, that might be a, a better way to say it. Thanks for the comment. See, this is why we have comments showing on the screen. We can all add to what we're doing here. Let's go to the、uh, browser cam here. So, this is a sentence as written by Burb, the first one who wrote it. I noticed there were lines here. I don't think we really need the lines there in that case, but、uh, thanks for those who did write that. And、uh, let's note the time here as well. Ima nanji desu ka? So, what is the time right now? It's almost nine o'clock. Mosugu kuji. So, let's note the time. Chotto matte. Yosh. Back to the game. Awaken Infinity. I can't participate in this, this, unfortunately. Do not worry. By commenting, you are participating. Everyone,、um, we can all have different roles on this journey. We can imagine this is the, our party in the game. Our party is here. Awaken Infinity is right here.、Um, just by your very comment, just by you watching, you don't even have to comment. You are here. You have an infinity symbol on your hat. Hope you're okay with that. Um, Burb is here as well. So, all of us are together on this journey, and the hope is that also our power levels are going up. The power level in this case, possibly infinity, and maybe that is where everyone is going. I don't know. That can be a more of a long term goal for our power level. Anyway, let's keep going. We are all here. We all. We don't need to write in Japanese. It's all. You can participate how you like. Why not? Naze so yer. Gen ni ore tachi wa. Anta to tatakate kizay tanda. So fighting you, I, I understood. Anta no me wa. Right, they're talking about his eye again, right? Antanome. So your eye is just too lonely and sad. Hmm. And again, notice this is the different kanji for kanashi, sad. It has more of a nuance of loneliness than the other kanji. If someone writes it in chat, we'll see the difference. There's two common kanji variants for sad in Japanese the word is kanashi. But this one is a variant that is a bit more poetic and more a lonely type of feeling. And yeah, omniscient, great comment. The real strength of this channel is that people help each other. People help me, I help people, people help each other. And、uh, people help each other in Discord too. If someone wants to do command, exclamation point Discord, you can go on Discord as well. People can help each other after stream, trading resources, trading、uh, jokes about Japanese. So, yeah, Greg, thanks for writing those. 
the two kanji for sad this is the one we see here with more of a nuance of loneliness by the way if you're on twitch you can see that better if you're watching on youtube i recommend joining us live so you can see these comments bigger and you can use things like rikaikun to read those too right omission good comment like kawaiso which means like pity or pathetic so your eye was too sad yeah good comment um, that usually is the kanji that I hear translated as like depression so but yeah it's in the same ballpark but I hear it more usually translated as like depression versus sadness Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so now he's describing this eye again, his eyes. E. Or me. What did I say? E. Um, so me means eye, of course. He's describing this eye in more detail. Jibun ga kietakute. Why is this repeated? Because this dude really, really, really wants to disappear. Kieru means disappear. Um, Kietai means wants to disappear. So they repeat that twice. This is the eyes of someone who really wants to disappear from this world. So yeah, he probably has that other kanji that, that Del Hueso wrote there as well. He sounds depressed, sad, in all kanji variants, all word variants. Other languages, too. I'm sure there's other languages that have even other words for sad that probably apply to this dude. So yeah, look at his eye. These are the eyes we're talking about. These are the eyes of someone who he thinks does not want to destroy the world, destroy all humans, and kill God. He thinks it's the eyes of someone who wants to disappear and, uh, I don't know, maybe join some kind of a... Um, emo... JRPG boy band, possibly. Yeah, Unboxious, that's a good point. Nice comment. If I destroy the world, I'll probably also be gone. Better do that. Yeah, more or less, it kind of seems like that's where he is. So almost as if you were like Homura when I first met her, because she wanted to disappear too. That's the implied part. Mm, so you say you're saying something interesting, aren't you? So you're free to think whatever you want. The word that kind of implies that part is this word here. Kate can mean selfish, or in this case, feel free to think what you want to think. Added with the stuff before it. Ah, nice, Awaken Infinity. I had a couple years in college myself, but at that time, I really didn't learn hardly anything, because I just would learn it for the test, forget it. I really didn't care about Japanese. I didn't really get into it until I lived in Japan for a couple years teaching English and then I got I decided it's now or never I better study like crazy and I did um <laughs> yeah it seems like that's a common sentiment I think occasionally there can be good stuff there but you don't want to like spend a lot of time on any subreddit really <laughs> I will carry out my goal. So,yeah,I'm gonna wipe all of you out, all you humans who are protected and created by God. Uh, yeah. Reddit, like the internet at large, has its good points and its bad points. 
and you got to know where to go. <laughs> yeah, and that and you're certainly not the only one. In my opinion, there is a lot of good stuff on Learn Japanese, but um, it's generally the stuff that's really highly upvoted. A lot of the stuff on there might not be so helpful. And the general theory for a lot of people seems to be that it's the land of perpetual beginners. And there may be some truth to that. You don't want to spend, you know, too much time learning about learning. You just want to find a system and you just want to jump in, learn. So I hear where you guys are coming from. Ah, uh, so this is why he's pissed. The last part here. Dogujanai. I am not a tool. What kind of tool? This describes the tool here. So I'm not a tool to uh, just help humans live. I'm not a tool for humans. Dogujanai. Yeah, Awake Infinity. I feel like your point is stronger than Shin's, but what are you going to do? Nara. In that case, what I must do is already decided. Let's break this down a little bit. So yaru means to do. So yaru koto means what I must do. And then kimataru means is decided. So what I must do is already decided. Yeah, essentially he's angry because he was born a blade, more or less. And blades in this game, it's kind of like a magic type creature that that forever goes from being a crystal to being this emo guy. And then each time you lose your memories and you're like, I don't know, he thinks a tool for humans. And uh, he's not into that. And he's pissed at God for uh, making him lose his memories and creating the entire system. Yeah, and Abakshis, I agree. I think that's the reality too, that the, it's going to be the biggest proportion of people there are beginners. Um, so I actually like the subreddit. I don't go there that much, but at times it links you to really valuable resources. Um, the sidebar for help, just for someone, if you don't have any exposure of what resources might be useful, has some good resources. Um, like there are, there can be a lot of negative energy there at times, which is true in general with the Japanese learning community often. Um, but there's good stuff and bad stuff like anywhere on Reddit, anywhere on the internet. Um, oh. But yeah, the Learn Japanese subreddit, they dug this channel, so uh, I think the post about this got, I don't know, plus 800 upvotes or something around that. So there's at least 800 pretty cool people on there, <laughs> at least from my perspective. Uh, you mentioned Discord. You're switching to your phone? So yeah, someone can do the, the Discord command if you want to find it. What is this? So this guy, he has no will of his own. Ishi means will. Yeah, thank you, Greg, for the uh, Discord link. Some, some kind of automatic um, biological weapon. So it just all it does is uh, destroy everything other than itself break that in a little bit for fun. So jibun means itself. In this case, this thing is itself. And then igai means other than itself. So then jibun igai, other than itself. And then masatsusuru. So it will eradicate everything other than itself. Cool. So this is human's karma. So we have to fight it. Luckily, we'll skip the fight because that fight, I think, sucked in the game. We're just doing the story today. Full language, fully voiced. And let's keep going. 
So we're seeing something is going to electrocute this monster here. We see monster in katakana. Monster. Oh. Tsuranuku kaminari. It's the lightning that pierced the beast, the monster. And again, let's find some new words. Let's make our power level go up, hopefully at least by three more today. Let's make that power level go up so we can defeat this beast <laughs> and uh, others <laughs> with the power of language. <laughs> let's start getting weird about adding words, too. Um, let's just, like, start picking apart sentences like we need power, like we're going to die otherwise. So let's look at the words. I'll mark yellow if we have it. I think we have it. So, soda, sky, think we have it. Um, so this would be like unkairu, so like the uh, like the cloud, sea, like current. That's like too weird of a word. Let's not worry about that. Um, so this word's also kind of weird. So it's like disturbed current. Um, so shide ga torokanai. So these could be good words. Um, I'm not sure if we have them or not actually. So shide is like an order. And then Toroku is to reach. So she's saying my orders do not reach this device, this Gundam flying around up there, because the Cloud Sea is all like crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you for the Discord command there. That should be our Discord, I hope. Um, so let's check, do we have any of those words? Let's go to our power up screen. Other people can search too, but I'll show you how I do it. Let's see if I can succeed here. Let's see, let's bring it to our word list. Let's do a find. Some of these words are quite tasty. So let's look them up, let's do a find. Um, one of those words was shide. Looks like we don't have it. Let's look it up in the dictionary, let's see if it's common. Okay, so we see shide. N1 word, common word, good. So orders, instructions, directive. Let's add it, because there are a lot of orders and commands in games. It seems like a useful word. After all, it is a common word. If you take N1, probably even N2, you might see a word like that. This is not 100% these categories. So we will now gain the power of orders. And then Shide Ga. Todokunai. So the positive of that is Todoku. All right, N3 word. Have we edited? I, I'm guessing maybe no. Let's check. Todoku. We have not. I could be wrong, but looks like we haven't edited it. So let's add that word too. Even more common than Shire was. Let's make our power level go up. Okay, so today we have Futatabi again, Komaru to be in trouble. That was a bounty word, N5 word, good one to learn today. Shide orders um, Toroku to reach, that's a verb. And uh, let's see, good, two words from that sentence. Let's keep going. Don't worry, we'll make our power level go up in a bit once we get up to our goal. <laughs> So it looks like all we can do is just take him down. The words we hear, we see here are kuso, which means like shit, which we have learned. Don't worry, we have that in our power level already. And then uh, Kori in Japan has joined. Yokuso, Japanese quest away. Welcome to Japanese quest. We are looking for words currently so our power level can go up. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Fluency. Research shows you need about 9,000 or so words to read fluently, so that's what we're going for. Um, my power level personally is above that, but we're hoping to get the whole quest power level up there. Um, these words, taosu, to topple or to defeat, we have already. And then this word again, kuso, um, with an extra kind of a small tsu in there, we have already. <laughs> Whoa, Tarchwood! 
and summon a dragon. Eh? Tier 1 subscription. Arigato. Thank you very much. Let's bring the dragon hype in here. It's, uh... You've now unlocked this power up emote as well, reminding us to find some more words. Let's power up. Korean Japan is very nice. I'm currently studying Japanese. Seems like a good channel to follow. Cool. I'll be back. Cha. Mata ne. See you later. And uh, yeah, Korean Japan. Does that mean you are in Japan now? If so, very cool. Uh, yeah, anyone who is studying Japanese, if you ever have a chance, I recommend going to Japan. To me, the biggest thing that did for me, it took like it took my motivation for studying Japanese to another level because it kind of I don't know I saw it as being more real, more kind of alive. My hope is that even if just a little bit, this stream can kind of make the language a bit more real to people too. Even if you're not going to Japan, maybe from the games, you're going to video game Japan, get a taste of it possibly. Nicholas, konnichiwa. All right, so let's do an attack and jump through its chest. All right, so let's uh, do our kind of uh, our future prediction attack. Understood. Yes. Let's go. Right. Lightning. Could it be? Ah, as expected, it's uh, Aniki. It's all those guys. Are you okay? So this is where we see a lot in games. Buji. Okay, are you okay? That I'm guessing we've already learned it. If we haven't, we need the power. We must have that. Let's keep going. So why are you with Shin? So we, can, we, we can talk after. Right now, let's uh, defeat this dude. Understood. Hi, Sugiwa. Unboxes, thanks for checking. Wanted to make sure. I was pretty sure we would have that. We have Buji. It's good to write it in chat anyway, because then we get more review. We get to see it, not just say it. it sticks around a bit longer. So it's a win-win to look stuff up, whether it's there or not. Check it out. I love this part. I remember this part. Check it out. He finds the driver's license of this crazy weird monster we just saw. And like you can see here, the face of this creature, I guess, when it used to be human. Check it out. He found like this, the driver's license of this crazy beast that we just defeated. <gasps> so what is this? Aniki, what did you did you find something? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, not name I. No, it's it's nothing. Why is he lying? He should just be like, yeah, I found the driver's license of this weird beast. So over there, um, they're talking about what we're gonna do from now on. How will Chief come as well? So Muko kind of means over there. So he's saying, let's go over there with the others and discuss our future um, role-playing game experience. Ah, understood. Masaka. Masaka. So, could it be? It's a word we always see too. Let's look it up for fun. Masaka. Yeah, so something unexpected. Like, I can't believe it, that kind of feeling. Unboxes um, in the comments says, uh... Wait, 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 Burb says, what, what don't we have on the list? We don't have it on the list? 
but Unboxha says we do. What? I'm confused. Um, so Unboxha says it's a little weird that Rex seems to just know what a driver's license is. Yeah. That is kind of odd. And Torchwood, the person who just summoned a dragon earlier, is kind of a cool name. It reminds me of Torchwood, but it's Tarchwood. So we'll use the uh, the world tree and we'll go up. That sounds really tiring, Toda is saying. And again, for anyone just joining, this dude says mo at the end of every sentence. Don't do that in Japanese unless you want people to think that you're a nopon, like this circular creature right here. He says a mo all the time. That's just like his special dialect. So it's shorter than going through all the cloud sea. So we can do, the, somehow do this just this little bit. Ah, oh, that word we don't have. Really? Huh. I know we've talked about that one a lot. Let's check. I just want to make 100% sure we don't have it. I, I believe you, but uh, let's check all the same. Masaka. We do not have it, even though this one we've talked about adding. I know we have, but I guess we never added it. Good one to add, though. So N3 word, common word. Um, usually just kana. So let's make it just kana. Let's copy it, add that to our power level. And now we will reach our goal for today. Um, there we go. Good. So today we have five words. Futatabi, again, komaru, to be troubled, shire, orders, toroku, to reach, and uh, masaka, which is, means like, uh, like, I never, or uh, like, I can't believe it, that kind of thing. So Bakshi says it may be N3, but it's basically N6 if you watch anime. Yeah, you hear it all the time, it's like a single thing yelled out, right? It's a good one for us to add. Let's make our power level go up. Our power is... Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1,120. Our power levels, our power level is now enough to, I don't know, probably defeat a Cyberman, possibly. So it's getting up there. So as always, uh, Rex, you're very optimistic. Key word that we have learned, Mai Muki. It's a very nice word to learn means optimistic, forward-thinking. It's a good attitude to have if you're learning a language. And uh, literally, mai means forward, muki means like a direction, so it literally means forward-facing and means optimistic. So as always, you're very positive. Rex, <laughs> So I understand the details, but I cannot just uh, look on with this guy here. I can't overlook what he's done. She's talking about Shin. And the key verb here is kind of rare, kanka, to overlook. I can't just overlook what he's done. Don't blame her. Also because he, he still wants to kill all humans, destroy the world, and kill God. So yeah, I wouldn't overlook that. <laughs> So yeah, I can't... I can't forgive him, but after we're th through all of this, um, I'm gonna arrest this dude. So that is my... my duty to all of the citizens of this world. And if you don't go along with that... That's okay, right? Kagutsuchi? Hmm. So again, the monster... Is it a monster again? This time, from where? From where? 
That's different. It's from up there. Where? Above. Ah, oh, here we go. So did they find Shin? This is the sh his ship. So yeah, probably they. So why is Shin with them? What is what is this? Well, it just saves us time. Uh, we can just kind of take all of them down at once this way. This four kanji compound here means like one net. We can take all of them down. So ichimo dajin. Save time. Take us all down at once. Let's see about that. What's okay. Understood. So I guess you got a message. He says, don't mess with them. Literally, te wa dasuna. So dasuna, do not lay your hands on them. Or do not put your hands out. So why? This is the perfect chance. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, so yeah, I told you, do not lay a finger on them. <laughs> so Shin has a high power level. You saw that aura there. That's what you can do when you learn enough Japanese words with your aura alone. You can make people recoil. So why, where is he hiding all that power? So I don't know what happened, but well, why don't we just let it go? Yeah, zombie, exactly. Once your power level is high enough in the language, once this power level is up there, with just, just the pure force of your language, you can knock people down. These things you don't learn until you're deeper into the language, of course. So once in a while, it's uh, important to kind of follow your whims, your flights of fancy. Isn't that right, Sata? Hmm, yeah, not, not a bad idea. This is the first time I've seen Shin like this. So let's get Shin back once we get him. Let's climb the world tree. So Sekai, world, Sekaiju, world tree, Noboru, to climb. Noboruzo, let's climb it. Understood. No, Shin's leaving. We had such a good heart to heart with him. Ooh, this part I actually like though. Because he's yelling down to this old blade that he knew in her past life, Kagutsuchi. And thanks, Greg. A couple different ways to write to climb. So you're the same as you were back then. So this is kind of a heart to heart. She asked him, "What I what was I like in my past life?" Because I don't have my memory, but you have a memory of me. And so he's saying, "Ano toki no mama." So that means just the same as you were back then. So ano toki that time, and then mama means the same as that time. It's kind of a nice moment between those two characters. It kind of shows that he's got some, I don't know, some kind of humanity or empathy in him still, even though he wants to kill all humans. Shin. What are the nuances between Noboru and Noboru? Uh, I'll be honest, that's one I would Google myself. Um, 
because uh, I have some feelings about it. Let's type it in the dictionary, see if we see anything straight in the dictionary. Yeah, my feeling is that Noboru, this one means more to kind of ascend, whereas the other one to me feels more like climbing a mountain type of feel. Right, like if you look at the kanji, this means to climb up, this one means to rise up, this one just means above. So the nuances I'm guessing might be influenced by the kanji. This one I see for like mountain climbing specifically, like Tolzan, for example. So Burp says apparently the second one means to rise naturally, like the sun. Yidisne. So the second one, right, that he wrote there was to rise naturally like the sun. Yeah, you see that one for like the sun rising, for example. This one, though, I guess he didn't write. That's more for like mountain climbing and things, at least where I've seen it. But yeah, often this these are questions that Japanese people might have too. So you could Google these. If you Google each different kanji, you'll see the difference. And you can read about the difference that Japanese people talk about in their own forums. Can be good reading practice too. Good comments though, good question. Because often different kanji have different nuances that even natives might not always know all the details. Can be arguable. <laughs> Uh, so getting a shortcut with a ship, it's kind of cheap, not fair. Let's hurry, if we, uh, yeah, we're gonna fall further behind. Mm, let's go! Let's go! So, Ji-chan, you knew, didn't you, about Shin? I did. Why didn't you tell me about it? Don't you wish you had a dude that would hang out in your uh, salvager helmet that you could have heart-to-heart -heart talks with? Like a little dragon? Um, I kind of have that with my cat griffin here. Only thing I'm missing is the salvager helmet. Maybe I need to order one of those. So yeah, he's different than Metsu. So if you had known that, so sentimentality or emotion would have taken hold of you. So these are two opponents we need to take down. No matter what. No matter what we have to do. So that's the fate that is uh, carried or burdened onto uh, Homura and Hikari. Shukume, fate, and then Seo to uh, carry a burden. So it's the burden of who? Homura to Hikari, his two blades. So I was quiet about it, didn't tell you. Because his emotion would get in the way. He's probably right. So that is their fate. So, Anoko. So when he says Anoko, it means literally Ano, that, ko, child. So that child, he's talking about Homura and Hikari. So that child, um, for you, Omae no Tame, um, took on the burden of life. Ambakshi says, I mean his emotions. Yeah, exactly. You really, I mean, if you think about it, Shin wants three things. I'll say it again very quickly. Kill all humans, kill the world, kill God. Not only that, he has the power to do it. So yeah, you probably should kill him. I mean, it's kind of tricky, but yeah. I mean, he wants to kill everyone, including God, destroy the world, and you're not going to stop him because his eyes look lonely? I don't know. Might not be the best move. 
Okay, so uh, what are you? Like, what burden do you bear for her? What are you doing for her? So can you keep living without wavering? Mm, if that's the case, then it's already decided. I'm already okay. I am... So is Homura Hikari. Hikari So Really? In that case, I won't say anything. So go down the path that you hope for. Nozomu Michi. Michi means path. Nozomu. To hope for. Nozomu Michi o Yuke. So go down your path. Believe in yourself. So shinjiru, to believe. Te makes it into a command, so believe in yourself. Kind of good advice for learning a language as well. Um, people often ask the best way to learn a language. My answer is often, it kind of depends on you. You gotta got to believe in yourself and finding your own way. The timing, the specific system, Tailor it to your own habits, your own personality. If you don't like something, switch it up for something that you like a bit better. No. Next. Kind of have to feel it out yourself. Gigi, what are you guys doing? Gigi. Gigi, why'd you call me Gigi? Like old Gramps, basically. Sorry, we're coming now. Literally. Go men, sorry. Ima now iku go so sorry coming. Uh, wake infinity time for bed. I'll be lurking. Jane, we will uh, be ending the stream fairly shortly, probably after the scene here. So good to see you, wake in infinity. I know you'll still be there somewhere out in infinity. Good timing. I think we will end it there. We'll start up next time with uh, a scene with these guys, which is often a bit tricky because they use like kind of a royal type language. Corey in Japan, is this mainly what you do? Uh, I'm not sure. We do Japanese language stuff every time. We are a Japanese language learning channel. I'm a Japanese teacher. I've taught in the classroom. Now the classroom is video games. So yeah, we do this every time. Um, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. We find words in game. We write on them a lot. That's a big part of it. Um, new words like, uh, ooh, jumyo. This is a good word. It means lifespan. So next time we'll learn about the lifespan of the country these dudes are living in. Living in. Sferibia. So yeah, the main thing is we learn new words. We learn new sentences. Uh, we put it all together with Chad helping us find all the stuff in between. Um, the words from last streams you can see at the bottom. And uh, that is what we do. Uh, Unbox says sometimes he actually plays games rather than looking through cutscenes. But even then, he teaches Japanese while he plays. Yeah, that's certainly true. Normally, we are playing games. However, this has taken longer than I expected to uh, get through all these story scenes. Corey Japan says uh, that's what I'm looking for. Sounds like I found the right channel. Sweet! Good to see you. Yeah, the only people in the world that I know of that currently do this really um, are this channel and Game Grammar on YouTube. So we are here, Japanese Quest on Twitch, Game Grammar on YouTube. Do a similar thing um, on YouTube. And uh, so yeah, check them out too. They have a new narrator who actually is a frequent commenter on Japanese Quest. His name is Junkcracker on Twitch. And he sometimes does this too on Twitch, actually. Junkcracker's awesome. And there's the, he's a new narrator on Game Grammar, so check them out. Um, and uh, today we'll say, Ja! Matane! We will end the stream there today. It's been a good stream. Thanks to everyone who joined. We did get one new bounty. We got five new words. So pretty good. 
Um, let's find who shall we host today. We always like to host people also who are either teaching Japanese or who are Japanese. We like to spread Japanese, increase the power level of Japanese on Twitch. Basically, the whole goal of this channel is to power up, yes, like Greg has there, the power up emote. The goal is to power up the Japanese language, to power up the people in chat in their Japanese language, to power up my Japanese language. This cat, too, is learning Japanese. They're still at power level one, but they're trying their best to get to that second word. Beyond nya, beyond meow. So, ja, matade, who shall we host? Ooh, this person's awesome, and they're hosting, or they're streaming. I um, have not seen them for a while, but uh, this person is actually learning. They are Japanese, and they are currently learning English on Twitch. So let's host them. Let's go over and say hello to uh, Amane. Um, so they are a Japanese person. They can teach you Japanese. You can teach them English, and it's like a it's a win-win, hopefully. So I will see you next time. Ja, mata ne. We will be hosting. The journey will continue next time on Japanese Quest.